Iana Arienel, Spirit Seer of Eandon, Codex Eldar, 3rd Edition, written by Gavin Thorpe, with additional text by Andy Chambers, Jervis Johnson, and Tuomas Perinin. Page 38. Narrated by R. J. Bailey. Arinel ran a slender finger along the tracing lines of wraithbone that were wreathed around the infinity circuit channel. At her touch, the wraithbone began to pulse with psychic energy, a warm glow spreading outwards along the web of the psychotropic material. Singing softly, offering her prayers to those whose bodies had been destroyed, Arianel took a waystone from a pouch at her belt and placed it in the niche at the centre of the channel. The spirit seer took a deep breath, bringing calm to her mind. This was the most difficult part of the ceremony, the part that so few seers were able to bear. Taking a small ceremonial blade from its sheath within her sleeve, Arianel cut the flesh on the palm of her right hand. Clenching her fist over the waystone, she let five droplets of blood spill onto the psychic gem. The blood soaked into the waystone as if its shiny surface was porous. Arianel waited for a moment, and then, suddenly, the infinity circuit was alive with energy. A blaze of light shot along one of the conduits into the waystone, making it glow with inner power. She felt the spirit inside enriched by her own life essence. The psychic contact between her and the dead had been made with the offering of blood. Her head filled with visions, vistas of death, a barren plain of existence from beyond the veil, and her mouth was dry with the taste of grave dust. Arianel knew this spirit well. His name was Althanian, an exarch of the fire dragons who had fallen at the Battle of Two Hundred Pyres. Even in death, Althanian was as eager to serve the craft world as he had been in life. With due reverence, Arianel took the living spirit stone from the Matrix and cradled it in her hands, a single tear running down her cheek. Even now, after so many centuries, she was loath to disturb those in eternal rest, to snare a spirit back from paradise. But war was close at hand, and the fighters of Iandin were few. Such sensibilities had to take second place to survival. With a heartfelt sigh, Arianel stood and started walking to the chamber where the shells of the Wraith Guard awaited their spirits. Special Rules Spear of Tuthias This is an ancient singing spear which dates back to the founding of the Ayandan craft world. The Spear of Tuthias follows the rules for a singing spear but has a range of 18 inches instead of 12. Armor of Vol. The armor of Vol is a strange and truly ancient artifact. It uses the wearer's mental powers to throw up a virtually impenetrable screen of psychic energy. Instead of making a normal armor safe, Arianel must pass an unmodified leadership test in order to save against any hits she suffers. If the test is failed, she loses a wound as normal. The armor of Vol can make saves against attacks that ignore normal armor saves, just like an invulnerable saving throw. Spirit Seer Arianel is skilled at conversing with the spirits of the dead and can communicate with them over greater distances than an ordinary psyker. Any Wraith Guard unit with a model within 12 inches of Arianel does not have to test for its Wraith Sight just as if a warlock were accompanying the unit. You have been listening to Iana Arianel, Spirit Seer of Iandin, Codex Eldar, 3rd Edition, page 38. Codex Eldar, 3rd Edition, written by Gavin Thorpe, with additional text by Andy Chambers, Jervis Johnson, and Tuomas Perinin, narrated by R.J. Bailey. Thank you to Gav Thorpe, Andy Chambers, Jervis Johnson, and Tuomas Perenin for writing the fiction I grew up with. Additional thanks to Tuomas for helping me pronounce his name correctly.
or as near to it as we were able to get. If you've enjoyed this, please leave a review where you found it, or like, share and subscribe on YouTube, depending how you're listening. This production, like all of Old X, is entirely unofficial and uncommercial, from an out-of-print publication, is a derivative work with all copyrights owned by Games Workshop, and is a celebration of the hobby and lore I grew up with. If you have any suggestions for other old Codex fiction for me to narrate on this podcast, you can comment, contact me on Twitter at rjbailey, or email robertjbailey at gmail.com. Links are in the show description.